Well children, if you look carefully, I'm just zooming in on this little penguin and there you can see one walking right there in the back and then I want to show you something else children you know if you look very carefully there are actually some rock rabbits right over there you know the rock rabbit it is almost like there he runs you can see look he's running over there that's a rock rabbit and I saw one that was actually much closer I don't know where he is now he is here somewhere so I think I need to just see if I can find him you know he's Oh, there he is, look, look, there he is, he's eating, look, he's eating some things, and you see that, look at him, wow, rock rabbits, dasis they called in, in Afrikaans, see some more penguins, oh, listen to, listen, he's going to those others, look, Okay, he's walking. If you listen carefully, you hear all the noises that they're making. Well, hello children. Felix. <laughs> I wonder if the children can guess where we are. I mean, if they look very carefully and they look behind us, they will actually see that there are some penguins. And uh, this is actually Baldur's Beach here, but I'm on the other side of Baldur's Beach. You know, Felix, many years ago, I used to sell donuts here. Can you believe that? I mean, um, I used to come here often and sell donuts and people used to really like my donuts here. But you know, children, I've I decided that today we're going to come here and I'm hoping that you see the, the penguins behind us and some of those may be coming out of the sea. But you know, it's time for children's story and um, before we even get to that, children, remember, you know, Felix, they need to get their Bibles and they need to get themselves ready for singing. Isn't that true? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Felix says he wants to tell us what to sing today. And uh, I was thinking, Felix, uh, what song do you want us to sing? Oh, give me, give me oil in my lamp. Oh, that's such a nice one, you know. Um, I think, children, let's sing that one. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. I think it's such a lovely song. And especially here, out where we are now, you know, Felix, it's such a nice place to be. And children, I'm hoping that you're enjoying the places where we're going to. Okay, let's sing that song. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of kings sing hosanna sing hosanna sing hosanna to the king of kings well you know felix another song that goes so nicely with that one is um this little art of mine do you know that one children well, let's sing that one together this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Won't let Satan eat out. I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Well, Felix, I think that was really two lovely choruses. I want my little light to shine. Do you want yours to shine? Yes, and I'm not going to let the devil blow it out. You know, okay, Felix, none of us, we're not going to allow him to do that. 
Well, children, it's time for us to get to our Bibles and to, to read there, you know, Felix. And um, I want us to look at a story that is taken out of Luke chapter 12. And children, you know, this is a very interesting story. It's about a man who um, actually anticipated certain things before it was actually there. And, uh, you know, sometimes that's foolish. You know, there's that old saying, be careful that you don't um, count your chickens before the hatch. Do you know what that means, Felix? <laughs> well, it means that sometimes, you know, when you've got a whole lot of eggs and you start counting the eggs, not all the eggs always hatch. And it means that sometimes, you you know, when you count, oh, I've got 12 eggs, and you think you're going to get 12 little chicks. But not, it's not always like that. Something happens. So you never count your chickens before the hatch. And uh, this story has got something to do with that, you know. Let me tell you. So, for example, we read there, and children, turn with me. Felix, you must turn with me. We're going to look at Luke chapter 12, and we're going to go right down there to verse 13, and we're going to start reading from verse 13. Okay, you got that, Felix? Okay. Children, do you have that? Okay. Luke chapter 12 from verse 13. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide his inheritance with me. Jesus replied, Man, who appointed me a judge or an arbitrator between you? Then he said to them, Watch out. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. A man's life does not consist in abundance of his possession. That's interesting. Jesus was saying a man's life, you know, is not made up of all the things that they do. And then he goes on to tell the story. The, the ground of a certain rich man, this is in verse 16, the ground of a certain rich man produced a good crop. He thought to himself, What shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, This is what I'll do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones, and there I will store all my grain and all my goods. Well, I guess that's, that's a good thing to do. I mean, if you've got lots of harvest, that's what one should think of doing. But then he says in verse 19, and I'll say to myself, you have plenty of good things laid up for many years. Take life easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. Oh, you know what that sounds like, Felix? It sounds like they're counting his chickens before the hatch. I mean, he's thinking he's going to live for a long time. Verse 20. But God said to him, you foolish man, this very night... Your life will be demanded of you. Then you will get what you have prepared for yourself. Oh, you know, Felix, it means that that night he got a barns and he built bigger barns and they were full of things. He didn't even have anything to do with it. He counted his chickens before the hatch. You know, it made me think of a little story, Felix, about a girl. She was a milk um, girl. You know, she used to go and hand out or sell milk in the market. And one day she had two buckets full of, um, full of milk. She had just milked the cows and she was so excited. And she started to walk to the village. And as she was walking to the village, she was thinking of all the things she was going to do with the money that she was going to get for selling her milk. And she was, guess what she was doing? She was counting the chickens before the hatch. And as she went along, she was thinking. And then all of a sudden she saw a chicken walking around around over there and when she saw the chicken she said oh I know what I'll do I'll buy my with some of the money I get for my milk sale I'll buy myself a chicken and then what I'll do is I'll sell chickens well eggs and milk oh and I'm gonna make such a lot of money and she was thinking in her mind oh I guess what I'm gonna do with all my money and then she said oh I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna buy myself a nice dress and all the other girls all the other girls that sell milk will be so jealous when they see me and she was skipping ha la 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 skipping along on her way to the market but she forgot, Felix, that she was actually carrying two pails of water and buckets of water. And as she looked, as she got to the, the market, she looked down, all the milk had been spilt and there wasn't even enough to sell. And then she thought, oh no, look what happened. I, 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 was, I was thinking about all the things I was going to do even before I sold my milk. And she turned around and she went home and she got home and her mother said, now what's going on? She said, well, all the milk I had, I spilt it. You know, I forgot altogether that I was carrying the pails of water while I was dreaming about all the things I was going to buy with the money. 
And her mother looked at her and said, Oh, how many times have I not told you not to count your chickens before they hatch? You see, children, we need to be very careful that sometimes we don't put things off because we're hoping to get something better and we also think that we're going to be able to do lots of things with the, with the money we've got when we haven't even got it. You see, it's like that wise, that foolish man who actually thought that he was going to live for a long time, but he didn't, Felix. And you know, sometimes we need to always remember that a, a foolish person is a person who doesn't realize that things can happen and you should never live in tomorrow. You should always live for today. Will you remember that, Felix? Okay, so remember next time, don't count your chickens before the hatch, okay? Okay, well, children, it was really nice being with you here. I'm wondering now if you, you saw that the, there's another penguin there and if you look carefully, there are some penguins on the rocks there. Wow, this is so exciting. And you know what those penguins are called, Felix? Well, they, they, make, they make noises just like um, donkeys, you know, and they're called jackass penguins. Isn't that amazing? And if you look carefully, children, there's one, he wants to come up on top there and uh, he wants to be with us, isn't it? True? <laughs> he wants to be in the picture. Well, children, have a lovely day. See you again on, uh, when do we see you again? When, Felix? On Thursday, yes. <laughs> no, 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 it's Friday. We, we see, oh, I, I don't know, I can't remember. Children, you need to remind me, Felix. Well, anyway, children, I'll see you soon again, okay? Bye. Have a lovely time. Bye.